there, I'm Gabby and I'm a wet and wet oil painter and today I'm gonna do a little experiment with making varnish. So I have made varnish myself and I also have Gamvar that I use. And I like my Gamvar, but I also like regular varnish. And in order to make regular varnish, what you use is you use turpentine, not turpenoid, not mineral spirits, specifically turpentine, okay? And then you use this stuff called Dammer. And what this Dammer resin is, is it's basically this hardened sort of sap from these trees in Asia. And it works great. The problem is turpentine is, it stinks. It is so fumey that even when you use it to make like your varnish, okay, it smells so bad that I can't even varnish inside my house or have anything that is drying from varnish inside the house. It smells so bad and everybody in my house just loses their mind every time I even open that jar. So my experiment is going to be to figure out how I can make dammer without using turpentine. Well, my original plan was to try it using Gamsol, which is the paint thinner I use. And long story short, Gamsol doesn't work. The only other thing that I have found that people say works is a citrus turpentine-ish product, okay? So the only citrus stuff that I have at home is this um, extra mild citrus thinner, okay? This is all I have. And so I'm gonna try it with this. Now this stuff smells a little bit citrusy, but it doesn't smell bad, not at all. So I'm going to attempt to use this stuff with my dammer to make some varnish. So what you need, whether you're using turpentine or not, is you need a glass jar with a lid. You need your dammer crystals. You need something to dissolve it. Um, regular mineral spirits too, they say don't work. And then you need some sort of filter. So what people usually use is like a chunk of nylon or something. And this is something I use for something else. Um, but I'm gonna use something else so that I can sort of get a better view of what I have going on. So I have this sort of meshy bag thing and I might have to refilter it afterwards. Now why you use a filter is because this dammer is not pure and so it has like impurities in it so you have to get the impurities out of it. And so we're gonna stick the filter in there. And then what you do is you put the dammer crystals in there and then however high up in the jar you have the dammer crystals and you, you push it so that this filter is down on the bottom of the jar. However high you have the dammer crystals is how high you have your solvent. It's pretty simple. So let's look at this dammer. Now, what I should have done is taken a hammer to this dammer, hammer, dammer. Um, I should have taken a hammer to it because these crystals are giant, um, but not all of them are. And I want to give this sort of experiment the best chance at success that I possibly can. So I think I'm gonna take out these bigger chunks and down in the bottom of the bag are smaller chunks and sort of powder. So I wanna get down to sort of the more ground up stuff. And then I'll put that in the jar and we will attempt to make dammer. So I'm going to release the first part of this video and then I will um, let it sit for a little bit of time, um, probably 24 hours I think. And then after that, we'll check it out. We'll see what it looks like. And then um, after I, have sort of finished the experiment, then I'll do the second half of the video. Okay, so I've gotten almost all this junk out of here. Okay, so basically what I'm left with in there is some fairly small crystals and just sort of powder. So I'm gonna stick this stuff in there. And the hope again is to make some dammer that just doesn't stink so bad. And I think this thing as a filter might not be good enough, but we're gonna try it anyway. So I'm gonna work that down into the jar so it's low because I only have so much of that citrus stuff and I need to, like I said, you have it down as, as low and then you fill it up to wherever the top of the stuff is. Um, so it's about halfway up the jar. Ugh. This powder, by the way, is sort of sticky, just so you know. Okay, so here goes nothing. Okay, good. And I have plenty of citrus liquid and then what I'm going to do is, if this works, then I will just put more dammer crystals in here and I'll finish using that citrus stuff and then I will sort of consider getting more of it if I can. Now usually what you do is you put the, like the filter around the top and then you put the lid on. The problem that I had last time I did that was the stuff sort of wicked up the fabric and then was coming out the sides. So that was a bit of a mess. So. This little guy's got that drawstring, so I'm gonna put it in there. And forewarning, if you do do this, it is absolutely um, messy, even if you don't know, use turpentine or whatever. It's, it's a stinky, messy job. 
Luckily, the citrus stuff, it just smells like citrus. So what you do when you do this is you sort of um, shake it up every few hours if you can or every now and again. Now, it, it's sort of a twofold challenge. Part number one is can we get it to dissolve? Part number two is if we can get it to dissolve, is it going to be clear? Because we don't want dammer varnish that is cloudy um, or anything like that. So I've got it in the jar. So far I can't say it looks like it's dissolving, but it actually does take time to do this. And I'm gonna let it chill. And then in 24 hours, I'm gonna check it again. And then I will sort of go from there and I will let you guys know in the future how this turns out. If anybody knows any other way to really do this, um, if you wanna put it in the comment section, that would be great. I read a little bit about using like alcohol you know, I may, I'm guessing like isopropyl alcohol, but I'm not sure about that. Somebody said you can add acetone to your dammer and it's supposed to like help clear it out. Um, I used to work in a food plant and one of the biggest things that they hammer home all the time is that you don't mix chemicals. And so I'm not going to try to play um, chemist here and then blow up the house or make mustard gas. So I'm not liking the idea of adding stuff to this. So hopefully this citrus stuff works. This bag of dammer was about 10 bucks and that citrus thinner that I have, I got in a lot of stuff that I bought online. So it really has no cost. So this is about a $10 experiment for me. And really it's not because this is about $3 worth of the dammer. So this is just a few dollars. And if this all goes awry, I will just throw it all away. Hopefully that won't happen, but I guess we're gonna find out. All right guys, so any questions, comments, concerns, if you wanna put them in the comment section of the video, I will do my best to answer them. Thank you very much for watching. And if you could like, share, subscribe, that would be very helpful for me. Until next time, I'm Gabby. And I really do hope that you fall in love with oil painting as much as I have. Bye, guys.